This particular subgroup analysis presented at ESMO 2023 looks at Relativity 047. That's a randomized clinical trial in the first line setting in advanced melanoma, where patients were randomized to receive nivolumab combined with relatlinab versus nivolumab alone. We've already presented the progression-free survival and overall survival uh, results. But this analysis, we look at particular subgroups of patients, those with liver metastases at baseline, and they generally do very poorly, and then those with lung metastases, as well as the time to develop brain metastases if they progress. And in all three analyses, we see an advantage or superiority with the combination of nivolumab combined with relatlimab a LAG3 inhibitor. So for liver metastases between nevorella versus nivolumab alone, the hazard ratio is 0.62, meaning patients have, with liver metastases for overall survival have a 38% uh, uh, reduced risk of death compared with those who get nivolumab alone. Uh, for lung metastases, these patients generally do better anyway, uh, but even so, we see an advantage with the combination therapy of nevorella and a, a hazard ratio of 0.72 for overall survival, meaning those who get the combination have a 28% reduction in the risk of death compared to Nevo alone. We also see that those who do develop brain metastases across the entire study are more likely to be in the nivolumab alone arm than the combination arm. So overall, the combination seems to be doing better in all of those important subgroups.